Hi everyone, I hope you're having an absolutely incredible day. My name is Alicia Masters, and if you are thinking to buy or sell real estate in and around the Puerto Vallarta market, I am your girl. I am back in one of my favorite developments along the South Shore here called Cyan Tropical. Cyan is one of those buildings that everybody wants to be in. It is very rare to find something here available for purchase. In the last few years, there's only been three listings that have hit the MLS, which is our Flex MLS system. All the rest are pocket listings like this one is here. Let me explain what a pocket listing is to you. That means that this house is for sale, but it is not yet on the market. So if you were interested, this is one of those properties that you do not wait on. The very last one that I was looking at here in Cyan, within less than one week, already had four offers and it also was a pocket listing, had not yet even hit the market and it's already gone. So with all that being said, if this is of interest to you, do not hesitate, do not wait around. This is a property that you need to call me on immediately and say, Leisha, we want to put an offer in and then get down here and take a look at it because you're not going to want to lose your place in line. So now that I've said everything I kind of want to say, let's get into the details of this place. You have 2,200 square feet here, three bedrooms with three full baths. The asking price is $1.3 million and you are all the way up on the eighth floor. One of the things I like so much about Cyan is that there are a lot of amenities here. So as you're coming in, there's a beautiful tennis court for those of you who like to play tennis. Then when you're into the building and you go all the way down to the ground floor, there is a really nice restaurant down there. There's a bar that can make you drinks. There are two beautiful pools. There's a fire pit down there. There is a gym. They have like spa services room. This place really checks all the boxes, but this is one of the reasons why I absolutely love, love, love the Cyan properties. Along the South Shore, you don't always have beach access and the communities that do have beach access always get snatched up super quick. Cyan Tropical is one of those developments that has access to the beach and literally you're walking out of the development and your toes in sand and you're within walking distance to the romantic zone. It's a no brainer for location. It's a no brainer for how beautiful this place is. You're checking all the boxes. If you're looking for an investment property or you're looking for a second home or a primary residence, this is the home you want to get into. All right, guys, so if you want more information about this home, look in the description down below. You're gonna see my information, how you can get in contact with me. We can set up an in-person showing. We can do a virtual showing. If you wanna contact me, please look down below and call my number on WhatsApp. Emails take me way too long to get back to you and you're gonna get a faster response if you reach out to me on WhatsApp. All right, so stay tuned to the end of this video. I am gonna have some, oh no, actually I'm not because this is a pocket listing. Usually I throw up some professional photos. I don't think we're gonna have that of this, so, um, Stay tuned to the end of this listing and you'll get into a recap. Also, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I do about two to three videos a week of properties that are for sale on the market here in Bayarda. Without further ado, let's go get into this condo. All right, guys, let's go. Outside of Cyan Tropical, I always like to give you guys a good 360 degree view of what you are going to see when you're coming in. Not too much to see out here. But as you get into the entrance, look how beautiful this is. You have a garden here. It's guard gated. So you have 24 hour security here. Once your guests have checked in, then you are entering into the beautiful space. There is an admin office here. You have a beautiful tennis court that you can hang out at. And then once you walk down the tennis courts, you are literally just taking the elevator straight down or you can take the stairs and you're just here. This is the eighth level. You're walking in at level seven. Okay, let's go take the condo. I just wanted to mention, this is the entry. This is the tennis court I was telling you about. You're gonna come into the entrance and you're just one level up. So the elevator, actually the entry into this building starts at the seventh floor. We are at the eighth floor here and there are only two condos per level. So we are gonna go into number 83. All right, one thing I wanna mention before we even get in, you have a nice utility closet here. This condo has lots and lots of storage, which is really great if you um, are wanting to live here full time. Okay, so before we get into all the bedrooms, I just kinda wanna give you a general idea and feel for the place as you're walking in. The bedrooms, the bathroom, all are along the back. And then the front of the house has the primary and the living space. So you kind of have a view of where we're going to go. So the back of the house has a couple of bedrooms in the bathroom. Front of the house, you're going to have the amazing views and your primary. Okay, so let's get into this details of this kitchen. I love all of the spaces here. All of the views are so incredible. You've got open concept living here. There's a nice waterfall edge to the marble countertop. You have marble on the floors. 
Just giving you a whole picture here. Nice center island. You have a five burner um, stove top here. Enough space for four benches at the bar. Four seats at the bar. Okay. And then you also have some extra storage here. To open up and show you guys. This could easily be a nice place for an owner's closet if you want it. Actually, they do have it as an owner's closet because it's locked. I can't open this. So yeah, if you're wanting to use this as a rental, which is what these owners do, these closets would make an amazing place for you guys to store all of your stuff. Okay, so now we've seen the kitchen. Let's get into the dining room and the living room. All of the furniture is included with the exception of the artwork. And I wanna mention one thing else that I think is so great. So there's a track here that goes like this. All of that opens up. So you have literally unobstructed ocean views when you're sitting here at your dining table. Same thing for your living room and your kitchen area. You have a nice size living room here, nice sectional. And I always like to just kind of move around and give you guys different viewpoints of the entire space. When we get into the primary, I think this is such a cool layout. They have like their own little living room there that's completely separate. And because it's kind of like indented in a bit, it feels like it's just a completely separate space. I love, love, love. You also have on the bat, on the bat, on, <laughs> on the balcony, it's a covered balcony. And because you are north facing here, you're not gonna have to worry about the sun coming directly into your condo which is beautiful because it can get so dang hot here. And those ones that are south facing, your condo literally turns into an oven around three o'clock in the morning or in the afternoon. Okay, I'm just gonna give you guys a tour down. Don't forget we are in a fish islands here. So things are going to appear a little bit um, more farther away than they actually are. So you've got one pool here that you can use, another little pool here and a lap pool. There's a jacuzzi back here, there's a fire pit. There are so much things to do down there. And then also, like I mentioned before, you do have the beach access. You just walk right down. There's like a little staircase here and you're down at the beach. Okay, so now you guys have had a chance to see the view. We're gonna go into the back of the house, then we'll get into the primary. Right. I like how open everything is here. They've done a really good job. Everything has been really well taken care of. Now we're going to get into the bedroom suites. So you do have pocket doors here that slide all the way across. You have an ensuite bath with here as well. And then the bathroom for this bedroom is the same bathroom that your guests are going to use um, whenever your guests um, are hanging out in the common areas. This is kind of cool. This whole closet kind of slides out and then you have like a rack up here for your hanging things. There's drawers and things here. So this is kind of like a different design than what I've seen before. I really like how they use the space really well in here. Now they have two individual beds, which kind of equal a king size bed when you put them two together. But definitely you could separate these if you wanted to use it, you know, like if as a room for your kids or things like that. Then this has an ensuite bath. You just kind of go right through this other sliding door. I like how they have the marble here for the finish on top of the countertop. And it's very coastal, coastal vibes here. In the shower, you have a nice bench and the marble goes all the way from the, the floor up to the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna make our way now to the second bedroom, which is just right down the hall. Then you do have a laundry storage here. It's just the typical Vallarta stackable washer and dryer with a little um, set of shelves here for your bath products. And now we're gonna get into the second bedroom. This I would say is a queen size bed, maybe a king size bed. Yeah, this is a king size bed in here, sorry. So just to give you an idea for the space, the roof is a little pitched roof here. You have the indirect lighting. show you what it looks like from the outside okay and this is the bedroom all of the bedrooms have um ensuite baths i really like that as well baths are all the same the countertops the kitchen or excuse me the countertops with the marble here same style shower with the little benches in there 
It's not really a bench. It's more of just like a place to put your foot, I think, when you're trying to shave your legs. Open up, and I'm going to show you the closet space that you have in here. You can see they've got just some random stuff in here. They use this as a rental property. So if you did want rental figures, I can easily get those um, for you. And we can also do a rental projection from Naya Homes. Okay, now we are going to get into the primary suite. Just give you one more view of how everything looks before we walk in. And now you are entering into the primary suite, which you do have a king size bed here. They have the his and her closets on either side with the TV in the nook open up to give you guys an idea for the feel of the closets here and this is perfect if you're coming down you know you're using this as just your weekend getaway house or you're using this as a rental this is more than enough space that you're going to need I love how you have right off the bedroom there's like another little lounge spot and they have this whole other patio that just feels like it is private just for your penthouse because it's kind of separated from the feel of the rest of the balcony, which we're going to get into all of that in a second. But I just kind of wanted to show you, I think it's so neat how they've taken this space and they've almost made like its own little um, private patio for the primary suite. But as you can see, when you get down here, it extends because all of these doors are going to close. So I really like that. It's different. All right. So now that we have seen the bedroom, let's get into the bathroom where you have even more closet space back here. Double sink vanity. I always like that. You have really good lighting in here as a woman for putting on your makeup. That is important. Ah, try to get into these closets just to kind of give you an idea for all the space um, but you can get into that for your owner's closet if you needed more space they do have a lock on one of those doors i do like the finishes here this is the same finish that they have in all of the other bathrooms and then you get into a nice big glass stall shower again they have a little foot thing there and then you do have which i like here you do have some privacy with a nice sliding door that has the tra the um the glass Okay, so now that you guys have had a chance to see this entire condo, I'm just gonna kind of walk back through one more time so you can get like just a little refresher of everything before we get down to the amenities. Okay, and welcome to Cyan 83. All right guys, now that you have seen this beautiful condo, let's walk out so you can see that view one more time and just look at the different colors of blues. You literally would be like, and that looks like a filter. It is not. It is a beautiful day here right now in Vallarta. Looking down at the pool one more time. Makes you want to be here, right? So absolutely beautiful. Okay, now that you have had a chance to see this condo, let's go get into the out of the elevator. If you were to go to the left-hand side, you can see there's like a conference room here. Looks like there's people in there right now, so I'm not going to go in, but just to kind of give you an idea. Then if you go off to the right-hand side, this is where you're going to see um, the restaurant that they have here in the bar. So they can easily make you cocktails or you can order food. Just to kind of give you an idea, this is a weekly special that they have right now. Um, Veracruz style salmon, only 300 pesos, 120 pesos for a glass of wine, 380 pesos in total. You also have a really cute little lounge area that you can hang out in up here. So the food is just very inexpensive when you're in um, the restaurants that are attached to these developments is what I've noticed. There's also common area Wi-Fi down here. So you have a lot of different areas that you can come and hang out at, get out of the sun. If you wanted to hang out um, with your friends, there's a whole other little area over here that you can hang out at and just chill, lounge, relax beautiful pool here right on top of the ocean you're just listening to the ocean waves crashing on the shore here another little lounge area that you can hang out at and i love this gym i think they have another four little lounges if you go down that way but i think they have a really cool gym i not only like the gym but then they have which i'm going to show you when we get into here 
So if you wanted to come and do yoga, they have a nice um, area for that. They've got some cardio equipment. They have some cable equipment here, lots of different free weights. So you've got a ton of little gym stuff here if you wanted to work out. And then you're gonna go into, and the men's is the same way. And then you're gonna get into the amenities. You just have a bathroom here, a changing area with a couple of showers. And then you go into the spa room. And when you come back here, there's a whole indoor sauna. And then this is the spa services room. So if you wanted to have massage people come and do that, you can definitely um, have masseuses come. And they even have a schedule up here if you wanted to register to have um, your personal masseuse come. So I really like the amenities that they have um, in this building here. Next, we're gonna walk down to the pool so you can take a look at the pools. And then we're gonna get into a recap. And don't forget, this is a pocket listing. You are not going to find this listing with anybody else. Um, if you are interested, do not wait around, guys. The last time there was a pocket listing in here, um, like I said, there were four offers that were made on it. It never even hit the market and it's already gone. So this is a look at the pool. As you can see, there's another pool. We're gonna keep making our way down. This is what the building looks like from the outside. There's two different buildings here. And we're gonna make our way down even more. So you have a hot tub in between, another little pool here. Nice outdoor shower. This is the jacuzzi. More lounge areas. And a fire pit. And then if you walk all the way down, at the end there's another outdoor shower and then there's the stairs that take you down to the beach. I'll kind of give you an idea of the little beach that's here and then you can even go through and get over to Los Muertos. But if you just want to have a little beach day, you are hanging out right off of your steps toes in sand and we are on the eighth floor all right guys so now that you have seen the common areas here let's get into a recap and don't forget if you want to get in touch with me whatsapp is the best way Alrighty, now that you have seen this amazing video of this really great condo, let's get into the details one more time. You have three bedrooms here with three full baths. The asking price is 1.3 million US dollars and you have about 2,200 square feet here in total. Don't forget to check the description down below if you want to find more information out about this condo, how you can get in contact with me. Don't forget WhatsApp is the best. I know you did click like and subscribe to my channel. I do two to three properties a week to showcase um, homes that are for sale on the market in and around the Puerto Vallarta market. That is my time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we'll catch you at the next one. Bye guys. Peace.